previously in Cyberpunk 2077. I just want to get in and look around before I waste my money on a place that I'm never going to visit. Like, I've got 29k, but that's... All things considered, that's not a lot. What happened? What happened? Your implants, they look half done. Done? Or not done? It is of no importance. Leave me. I must catch my breath uh. to my brother. It is him who needs saving now. Who knew monks were a grateful little brat? Maybe you should apologize for saving this gamic ass too. Did I just hang up on Regina? Oh man, she is gonna be so mad. And now to continue. Uh, better not to think about it. Let's just get on with the job. Thievery. Objective. Steal a recording of Maelstrom's initiation rite. Got some paparazzo work for you. Need to get my hands on a recording of the Maelstrom initiation ceremony, TLDR. To get into the gang, you need undergo an optic nerve split operation, a rite of passage of swords, footage of the whole thing. That's what I'm paying for. You know, I just read something about that somewhere else, and uh, it sounds really gruesome. Got a tip? You can find just such a reel at the Haven Heaven Med Clinic. Heaven. Yes, Heaven, not Haven. There's an extra letter in there. I, I swear I can read. It's the place they pull all the new recruits under the knife for the first time. Ops. Op rooms are all fitted with cams too. Could be a file, an entire disc, access to the servers. I don't care. What matters is the footage. Get it done. I noticed that there's a very distinct lack of um, stipulations in that in that bit as to whether or not I'm allowed to end people. But just to be on the safe side. Is there a reason why you're stopping in the middle of the road? There's not even a stoplight here. Never mind. Now, I could bait. Why is ping at the bottom of my list? It's supposed to be at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine guys. We've got nine targets inside. What I am not seeing is any kind of security system. That's what I'm looking for. Is a camera, perhaps. I am not seeing it anywhere. Alright, what about the car? Doesn't look like I can do anything with the car other than ping. And a lot of good that did me. Alright. Let's make sure I got a full magazine here. You're not gonna drive right through my shot, are you? Why are you even stopped? Seriously, there's no light. There is no light. Yet they're all stopping like there's a light. And here I thought this day would be a dime. Instead, I'm going to show you the light. Provided I can get my shot off. Okay, ducking would be wise. Oh, are you coming to play with me? Oh, no, you're not. Well, I mean, you kind of are. You're fucked, and you know it. Do you think this is a game? Um, intruder detected. Are you guys shooting at the hazmat crew? I've got this. Listen, punk. I seriously hope the hazmat guys are not shooting at me. That that like I'm not here to pick a fight with them. They're they're feds. Hello? Where are you? 
Oh, for crying out loud. They are going to get involved, aren't they? There is a security camera. I've got this. How did I not see that security camera before? Let's play with it. Oh. Oh, I saw that. No, you're not. Please do not. Oh, man. Five for short circuit. That is terrible. Dude, for real. I didn't want to fight you. Yeah. I really did not want to fight him. And now the police are here. Oh, this is day just keeps getting better. Nope. How? Why can't I run? Why can't I run? Why can't I run? I am trying to sprint and I cannot run. Oh, this is so not good. Papa's gone. Close the door. I would prefer not to end any more cops. I'm a fucking wipe you. No, you're not. Close the door. Close the door! Close the door! I'm up to three stars! Can I close this one? Let's just hide. Hide in the closet until the police go away. Why?! Why did you open my door? Oh my god, stop opening my door! For the love of God! Just go away! Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, I'm not out of the woods. I'm still in Ma Maelstrom territory. Let's turn the cameras to friendly mode, shall we? But at least the police are gone. Or at the very least, the police are no longer shooting at me. Okay, yeah, they're all leaving. Good. Oh, my word. Okay, friendly mode.
It's no longer friendly. What? Why? Why is that no longer... Okay. How do I change cameras again? Got it. How many tombs do we have left? Too many. Or none. Like, what? I'm so confused. Okay. That's not going to do me any any good at all. Come on, ass. There's still somebody here. But who and where? You're here. I know you are. Yeah, so are you. Can't force that open. Of course I can't. Alright. I need to find a security terminal. Okay. Another camera. Let's turn that off. Right. You'll be my friend. I totally believe that. Where is the security desk? I, I need to disable the cameras. Once I disable all the cameras, it'll be a lot easier to just go find the last idiot in here and... There we go. This is not what I was looking for. Why can't I go in there? Four of eleven. Force it open. There we go. Let me use my tech ability. Okay. We've got a quick hack here. Don't mind if I do, but not what I was looking for. Um, let's see. All right. One C five five E nine. One C five 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 five. There we go. Cool. Got it all. It's a nice bit of money. Some quick hack components. Really annoyed. I can't go in there. What do you want to bet that in there is where I'll find the security system? Of the computer that let me turn off all the cameras. It sure as heck ain't back here. Alright, the guy I'm looking for, I'm pretty sure, is. No? Must be upstairs then. Ah, what the hell happened in here? Voodoo Rosary. Okay. Still no sign of... Uh. Oh, hi everybody. Not sure why you're all gathered right here at the corner of the stairwell. Here, have some fun. There. Why were you all gathered up right at the corner of the staircase? I mean... Some kind of weird party ritual or something? Like... Y'all are weird. That's really the bottom line there, Maelstrom. Y'all are just really, really weird. 
Okay, what do we got here? Uh, oh, this is not going to end well. Okay. Oh, man. I, You know what? No, 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 no. We're just going to leave... I don't, I don't see how I can, will you give me another shot? Cause I didn't actually start. Maybe give me a better opportunity here. Cause that was horrible. Okay. There we go. Much better. Now to get what I came for and get out. The truth about cyberpsychosis. Really? I've had enough of the senseless shootings that claim hundreds of innocents every day. I'm sick of the satire on empty, dead-end implant restriction dialogue. I'm tired of ignoring the cyberpsychosis problem. In American society today, there are still a lot of common myths and misconceptions about the so-called technology-related personality disorders. People think they can become infected in sketchy Reproduct clinics. Scientists allegedly disagree about the causes of the disease or even about whether it exists at all. Maybe their tune would change if a cyberpsycho turned their lab into a slaughterhouse, but even then, I doubt it. They're not getting fat paychecks from the cyberware lobby just to openly declare to the public all the nasty possible side effects that come packaged with their products. I've conducted my own research on cyberpsychosis with supreme confidence I can confirm this illness is indeed a byproduct of the modern lifestyle of the obsession emphasis placed obsessive emphasis placed on incorporating modern tech into our lives although cybernetic implants can directly affect our brain chemistry they still serve only as a catalyst for the onset of the disease our world is subject to extensive dehumanization we surround ourselves with increasingly more automated machines and artificial intelligences. Our loved ones replace their nature-given eyes, lips, and faces with masks of metal. Some of us began, begin to lose sight of what is human. We slip into feelings of total alienation and deep-rooted panic. We lose the ability to distinguish between what is real and what is only artificial, digital, synthetic. Such people begin to isolate themselves, lose their empathy for others, and undergo traumatic mood swings that exhibit sadistic tendencies. The most frightening component to all of this, however, is that most will never be diagnosed. Not all cyberpsychos are known war veterans or former mercenaries equipped with Sandevist and Reflex tech. Not all will go out in a blaze of gunfire with Max tech. Many cyberpsychos in our world only possess were old possess only a single implant, a knee, a liver, they're unseen, unnoticed, and lock themselves up and shut out their friends, colleagues, and loved ones. The world outside of the net and their delusions has disappeared from conscious thought. They are sick and alone and no one is doing a thing about it. There is no eloquent summary to be made here. Let the value of this manifesto be measured by the fact that I was expelled from the ZetaTech cybernetics research team for having written it. So there's a psychological component to the tech that in, that causes cyberpsychosis. It's not just the fact that you get implants, but it also has something to do with the fact that... Um, so it, it, it's got to do with self-esteem and one's own self-worth. And in fact, body modification may very well be a side effect itself of a person's lack of self-worth. Self-worth. Don't know why I can't talk today. It feels like I'm choking on my tongue. really kind of sad once you think about it in that light and it makes sense why Regina actually wants to save these people rather than just put them down like rabid dogs because they may not be rabid dogs they may just be somebody suffering from severe depression 
and that depression has been amplified by the technology in their body. Alright. I think... I've made it to where I need to- Oh, look at that. A window I could have just crawled in. Why do I never bother looking for alternative routes? I know why. Because going in guns blazing is more fun. It's that plain and simple. I like shooting up assholes. And there we go. There's the data I needed. And let me guess. This is the terminal. No? Okay. I never found the terminal that controls the cameras. Apparently it doesn't exist. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah. Through the window. Where did I leave my motorcycle again? I'm surprised that thing hasn't been stolen with as many times as I have lost track of where it's I left it. Really? Are you serious? Police cars are still out here and you guys... Wow. I took out their entire crew inside. There's cop cars outside. And they still want to pick a fight. I said it before. I'll say it again. Y'all are. Why can't I shoot you in the face? Holy crap! Two whole magazines of sniper rounds. And for some reason, they're just passing right through your skull as if you're. as if it's not even there. Oh my god, why is my aim so bad today? There. Let's just use the sniper like a shotgun and call it a day. Hey, Regina. What? And again, I didn't pick up the phone. What is going on? Nobody asked you your opinion, you stupid security camera. Oh my god. What the? No, I didn't want to take control of the stupid camera! Where the hell did you guys come from? Oh my god. Did I just start a gang war or something? That's it. I'm going back inside. Nope. Screw you. I'm out. You want me? You're going to have to come chase me. Good job. You listened. Maybe a little too well. Okay. New plan. No more sniper rifle. How are my grenades doing? How's my health? Where did everybody go? Hey, I actually got that one to hit. Hit the barricade she was standing next to. Ow. No, no, no. Personal space. Stay away. Are we done now? Have I won the gang war? Good grief.
This is why I wanted to turn off the bloody security system, but no. I had to be a weakling and not be able to open one single door that probably holds holds the security controls, of course. Regina, considering the hell I've just gone through to get this information for you, I really don't feel bad about not taking your phone call. I'm not even done with her job, so we've got another cyber psycho up here we can go and play with. Where's my motorcycle? Has anybody seen my wheels? Oh, wait, they're all dead. They can't answer me. Never mind. I swear, I left it right here. Fine. What? Where is it? Okay, fine. Since I can't find my own car, I guess I'll take one of theirs. It's not like they're going to need it anymore. And their driving would be worse than mine. At least I still have a head. Really getting tired of, of Maelstrom. <laughs> like, really fast. I've barely been in town half a day. I mean, I know I'm in their territory, and that's why I keep running into them. It's just like when I was in Japan town, and all I could r do was piss off the Voodoo Boys over and over and over. Or not the Voodoo Boys, the, um, the Tiger Claws. I don't even want to know what will happen once I go into Voodoo Boy territory. There's a reason why I'm ignoring that mission right now. Well, I probably shouldn't ignore Pan Am. Whoa! Please don't tell me that was the psycho who just drove away. Regina. Heard Northside seeing some action. Got Maelstrommers hauling ass out of there. Go see what's going on. Um. I'm so Oh, hey. Here's the gig. Data received. Now get out of there. Got the data, thanks. Gig closed. Yeah, sorry about not taking your call. But not really sorry because, well... Far more hassle than the job was worth. <coughs> now, here's a sticky situation. We've got somebody who is so bloody armed to the teeth and so dangerous that Maelstrom is running away. If Maelstrom's running away, what does this say about my crackhead at, uh, noggin? That I'm going towards the danger. Oh. Who do we got? Lely Hein. Valentino's. Okay. It's just you. Oh, I really wish it, she didn't want me to leave these people alive. Like, I know, I know, I just read that whole thing. It's not their fault. 
a combination of tech and depression. We should have some sympathy. But speaking as one who has, well, been nearly put to death a few times by these same cyber psychos, leaving them alive is not exactly the easy route. <clears throat> oh god, what the hell is all this weird tech? What the hell are they doing in this place? And how exactly can I get in here? Okay, I'm going to try and use this to my advantage. Hand of God. Okay. Well, that did something. Oh, but I think I just only succeeded in pissing him off. Okay. I did some damage. Apparently my sand devastan is not quite up to par yet though, because it hardly did it me any good. It is kind of nice to have one though. Okay. Shoot him in the legs! Shoot him in the legs! Ah! Was that a flashbang? I can't move. Why can't it? Okay. I got a couple more shots off. Oh, but he's looking for me. He's wary. Okay. Maybe this might be a good su good situation to use like a flashbang. EMP grenade. Would that affect his cyberware? Let's give it a try. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Nothing and then I run away like a little girl again? Where did he go? What? Why are you... What are you doing back there? And here I thought I was the one running away screaming. Like, I should be. Oh, God, no, you just lured me into an enclosed space. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay. Can I? Can we just do tiny bits of, of damage over and over again until you finally fall to the floor? You're not a net runner. So that might actually be possible. I like being able to do both. Oh, it's coming this way. Please tell me that did exactly what I wanted it to do. For our sisters, for our brothers. Okay. Give myself a bit of a health boost here. No, no, no. I need... So close. You are so close. Ah, no! No, 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 no. There we go. And... You're dead. But I shot you in the legs! Oh, come on, I only blew off his ankles. 
Why are you st why are you dead? That's not what I wanted. Wrong page. I wanted to read the shard. To farewell. Tomorrow, I've been trying to reach you ever since they took me. I know you're looking, and I know you'll find me eventually, but I don't know how to make it any easier. Don't think I can get on the net. I should have listened when you taught me how, how but I effed myself. Honestly, I don't think you'll recognize me if you saw me. I know I don't. Should just stick a barrel down my own throat and be done with it. But I'm such a monster. Gang ain't taking me back. Not without bag over my head. I got these like tractor hands and ugly sin red eyes. All I can think now is your chooms who poisoned you to tell me. Uh, I'm having a real hard time reading this. Yeah, so yeah, this guy was like, he was really suffering from depression, mainly over his implants. Like, ah, uh, I didn't want to. Okay, our kid was a Valentina, not a Maelstromer. Borg fiends must have had an axe to grind with him, because they stuffed him with implants like a Christmas turkey, and just watched and waited for him to blow. Same would have happened to anyone chipped that fast. Body didn't have time to adjust, and the wear and turned him into a psycho. Couldn't bring him in quietly. Had to put him out of his misery. I tried. I tried really, really hard to save his life. Looks like our guy didn't even have to piss them off. While well, a while ago, Maelstrom put out the word it was looking for volunteers to test some new wear. Obviously, nobody stepped up, so... Borg idiots just started scoping, scooping people up off the street. Valentino's been looking for this kid for a while, not to mention the runner who swarmed the net with data feelers trying to track him down. Eventually must have broken free and fought for his life, Mailed the ma made the maelstromers reap what they sow. The whole thing backfired on them spectacularly. Kid was still just a kid. Maybe with time, could have adopted to his new condition, learned to deal with it. Sucks you had to zero him. Yeah. I really tried not to. Hell, to be honest, I shouldn't have. Like, I, every shot I fired at him was aimed at his legs. Minus the two or three that were right in his face. But that doesn't count because those weren't the ones that finally finished the fight. Now that's all said and done. Any loot to be had around here? 